Good stuff. So, um, what we're going to do, could you uh, please go back there and pick that up? Thank you very much. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, again, we just need to remind ourselves when adding and subtracting rational terms, the major thing that we want to make sure that we're doing is making sure that we have the exact same LCM, the common denominator. So what we're going to just want to do, and ladies and gentlemen, when I was checking some work students, I was like, hey, Ms. McGillian, did I do this right? And I'm looking at the work, and I'm like, I don't know. I don't know what your LCM is. It's very helpful, ladies and gentlemen, if you can write out what the LCM is for your denominators. All right? LCM, least common denominator, whatever way you really want to um, think about it. So what we need to say is, what is the smallest multiple that both 6c squared and d, or 6 times c squared d, and 4cd cubed both divide into. So if that kind of looks a little bit crazy just on, its, um, on the front, let's just look at it by numbers. Between 6 and 4, what is the smallest number that both 6 and 4 divide into? 12. 12. OK, now let's look at the variable c. Between c squared and c, what is the smallest <coughs> value of c that they both divide into? <coughs> c squared, right? And then the LCM for d and d cubed is just going to be d cubed. That's the smallest value that both of my variables will divide into, and as well as the same thing with my numbers. So now what we do is we take our LCM and we multiply it on the top and the bottom of each fraction. I'm sorry. We don't have to multiply by it. We could, but we don't have to do it that way. What we want to do is now we just want to see what do I need to multiply each fraction by to get it to its LCM. So over here. I want to get my denominator to now be 12 c squared d cubed. Well, I already have c squared, and I have a d. So what do I need to multiply to get d to d cubed? d squared. And to get a 6 to a 12, I need to multiply by 2. Now, to keep the fraction equivalent, you cannot just multiply the denominator. You have to multiply the denominator and the numerator. So I'm going to multiply 2 d squared on the top as well. Then over here, we say, all right, what do I need to multiply 4c d cubed by to get it to 12c squared d squared? So that would be 3c. All right, it's very, very, very important that you guys understand we need to multiply the top and the bottom. All right, if not, you don't have equivalent equations. And I'll just prove it to you real quick. If I said 3 6, and I, as long as I multiply by 2 over 2, I get 6 over 12. Is 3 over 6 equal to 6 over 12? Yes, because I multiply the same number on the top and bottom. Produces equivalent equations. So now we have multiplying fractions, which we already discussed, right? Multiplying fraction, we just multiply across. So I have 2 d squared over, and if you did your work right, you're going to have your LCM. 12 c squared d cubed plus 9c. Now we cannot combine we cannot combine 12d squared plus 9c, okay? And because they're not common terms, so we're just going to leave this as our finalized answer. Okay? And that's it.